So now on to lesson five of Codility, prefix sums. I'm going to have a go at the first exercise, count div. So I'll start that straight away. Okay, so write a function that given three integers, a, b, and k, returns a number of integers in the range from a to b that are divisible by k. So for example, for a equals 6, b equals 11, and k equals 2, your function should return 3 because there are three numbers divisible by 2 within the range of a and b which is 6 to 11. So those numbers are 6, 8 and 10. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. a and b are integers within the range of 0 and 2 billion. k is an integer within the range of 1 and 2 billion. And a is less than or equal to b. Okay, so the temptation here is going to be to loop through the numbers from a to b, try and divide it by k, and if the mod of the division is zero, add one to a counter and then return that counter. But it's asking for an efficient algorithm, and I guess that to do that for two billion values is not going to be efficient. But I think what we can do here is we can find the first value, um, which is divisible by k. And how we could do that is divide a by k and take the ceiling of the results. So if uh, a is 6, we divide 6 by k. So k is 2, so 6 by 2 gives us 3. And then we multiply that by k to give us 6, which would be the first value. We're taking the ceiling because if a is 5, we only care about 6. We don't care about 5. Now then that value that we calculate as being the first value in the range from A to B, we can subtract that from B. So in this case that will give us 5. 11 minus 6 is 5. We could divide that by K. and take the floor of that result to see how many values in the range are divisible. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at that. I think I've got a plan of how we can do this. And in big O notation, I think the time complexity will be O1 because it's always going to take the same amount of time and it doesn't depend on the the values because we're just going to be doing simple calculations so just going to make a main method and the test data is 6 11 and 2 and we want the answer in this case to be 3 so first I'm going to work out the base, base equals, and that's going to be the ceiling of A over K. I just cast A to a, a double, so we don't divide, we don't get an integer value there. And then cast it back to an int. And then we multiply base by k. So in this case, the base would have been ceiling of 6 over 2, which will be 3. And then we multiply it by k to get back to 6. And that will be our first uh, value, which is divisible by k. Then 
B from B I'm going to just I don't need to keep B so I'm just going to subtract base from it now B will equal 5 and then count will be a similar math.floor b over k so in this case b is now 5 5 over 2 is 2 and a half so the floor is 2 and that gives us how many values from above 6 in our range that's divisible by k and then I just need to add the first value onto it by just adding 1 onto count and return count so is this going to return 3 yeah now I'm going to go through a few different tests so if A was 5 we still want 3 a was 4, we still want 3. No, we want 4, sorry. Which is right. If A was 3, we still want 4. If B was 12, we now want 5. I'm going to try K equals 3. So that would be 3, 6, 9, 12. So we want 4. Um... I'm reasonably confident that that's right. It's not too difficult. It's a respectable puzzle. I think because of the temptation to loop when we don't need to loop. Um, let's think of some corner cases. So A and B, well, I don't see why a large number is going to matter using this technique as long as it doesn't overflow an uh, integer but an integer can go bigger than that k is that doesn't matter either and a is less than or equal to b um, a and b are integers in the range of zero uh, zero is divisible by anything so let me just check what happens if we give it 0. So I'm going to give it 0, 11. I want the answer to be 0, 3, 6, 9. So I want the answer to be 4. And if I put B up to a 12, I want it to be 5. If I put K to 1, I want the answer to be 13. OK, I think that's it. Uh, I think that's not too difficult. Let's get the indentation right and I'll run tests. It's just done the one test on it, but I'm confident that this is right, so let's submit it. Like I said, I think it's respectable because the my first instincts told me to loop from A to B and try and divide everything by K. But of course, with 2 billion potential values, that may take some time. Yeah, and we have a total score of 100%. And the extreme cases were big values, uh, max integer values, b equals max int. It said in the um, solution that b was only going to go up to 2 billion, but never mind, it works anyway. Uh, so, okay, so that's all seems to have worked, so 100%. Okay, so thanks for watching.